Hello, my name is Will Strauss, and I'm a principal analytics consultant and Sigma expert with PH Data. In this next installment of our Sigma Made Simple series, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to create a combo chart and a few of my favorite pro formatting tips. Our starting data is S&P 500 index daily reports. This is available in your Sigma sample database, so feel free to jump in and play with this. Now we can come over and in our elements menu and create a new visualization. I'm going to go ahead and create a child visualization. Pull this up here and we're going to try to recreate this volume and close price daily trend combo chart. So we've clicked on our visualization. I'm going to come over here to configure it. Let's drop date onto the X axis. Oh, we got to change it from bar to a combo chart. And we're going to bring in the volume and close. And there we go. Not exactly. We have a couple things to fix here because no human could possibly read the sum of close when it's on the same scale as the volume. So I'm going to come over here to the configuration window, go to sum close, hit the drop down. I can edit the shape or I can desync these axes. So click Y, much better. Now the dollar value of sum of close is on the right side. You'll not Great. I need to, what I want to do is I'm going to remove zero so that it really accentuates the changes in the line. I'm going to leave zero for the bars because volume, I think of a whole does include zero. These numbers, I don't necessarily need it. So I'm going to come back over here to formatting. Now that our, now that we've created this combo chart, we have our X axis, Y axis, Y axis two. So your variables will split out and let's just not show zero much, much better. Still not perfect though. I don't like these vertical lines. It's kind of visually disturbing as you're looking at it. And I really want to accentuate gains and losses from day to day, particularly when I'm talking about stock data. So let's change those two things real quick. We're going to come back here to the configuration. I'm going to go to some volume, hit the drop down, and in here I can change the shape. So we're going to change this to an area chart. Already looking much better. I don't have all those vertical lines visually breaking it up. Now I want to make sure again, I really want to accentuate the ups and downs from day to day. We're going to come back to formatting, go to the area line style. I'm going to change the interpolation from straight to step after. And this really, really shows gains and losses every day, each variable on their own axes. It's, it's a great way to accentuate the day to day losses to gains. Another way to do it where you're trying, like this is a good example we're using to they're correlated, but they're very different values. We can also use a combo chart to accentuate changes in essentially what's the same value. This chart down here is the open and close price. Open is set as a line. This is that gray line. And the close, what I did is I created a calculation that said, if the open is less than the close, call it a gain, else a loss. I can then drag that this calculation into one of my custom rules for the color. So here it says, if that calculation gain or loss says loss, then we're going to change the style to red. I then made the default color a light blue. What this does is we see our open value as a nice gray line. And this is matches up with our stock trend over here. But the color, the red and the blue really visually accentuates those days where we had the most significant losses and the most significant gains really increasing the speed to insight. And that's my favorite thing about combo charts. It packs in a lot of visual information to help your users get to their insights as quick as possible. I wanna thank you all again very, very much for joining us in this series. Remember, you can follow us at hashtag Sigma Made Simple on LinkedIn so that you're notified when our newest daily video is released. And thank you again from all of us here at PhData, Sigma Computing's premier service provider.